Um, when I first had the idea for Notch, I knew that I had to find a co-founder to actually help me build it, um, an engineer. And so I started going through my Stanford network, um, meeting with a lot of engineers, trying to find a fit. And I think I went through about 13 <laughs> potential co-founders. And this was also at a time when my family told me that I shouldn't start a company, I should go to business school, and my visa was problematic. And you know, it just felt like everything was falling apart. And this always happens. Like the second you give yourself a chance, the world just says no. And then going through that is just very important. Um, and then I think the first light at the end of the tunnel I saw when I met Steph, my current co-founder. The idea of having a woman co-founder made me incredibly excited because um, I just felt like, you know, outside of just building a revolutionary company, we could build a revolutionary way to build a revolutionary company. Um, and I really wanted someone who was open-minded about that. And so when I met Steph, the first hour we spent talking about um, <laughs> whether or not human beings were monogamous creatures and how we felt about Israel and how we felt about socialism and so on. And so we clicked in a very Notch-like way without really knowing what Notch was. And by the time we got to the actual idea, we had already formed like a really interesting interest-driven friendship um, that was very important. And I had this strong gut feeling that this is the woman that I need to build my company with. And so. I pitched the idea to her and I think it took her about three days to get infected with the virus and not be able to sleep at night and then it took her about a week and a half to quit her job so it was a very fast process for us um, we felt like it had been meant to be we were both very strong hyper rational self-confident women and that was basically the only thing that we had in common everything else was different and to this day we debate about everything. Um, we, I mean, I don't know if we've li recently found anything that we've agreed on from, from the beginning. Um, and most of the time, because we respect each other so much, we go through a diligent process of finding arguments that support our views and then convince each other of the validity of our views and then adopt whichever idea is better. So far in a year and a half, we've never had a problem. We've always reached a consensus. Many times I've given up, many times she's given up. Um, and we just, you know, respect each other and appreciate that we can do that with each other. Um, and so all the stereotypes that people were telling us at the beginning and all the fears that our investors had about us being women and potentially not getting along and being overly emotional and, you know, territorial and all those things, all wrong. Um, I think just the fact that we are so open to communication um, and so nourishing and so generous and so loving with each other has only helped us get through the hardest times. And so to this day, um, you know, we, we cry together, we laugh together, we hug each other, we talk about boys and fears and company and everything. Um, and it's just wonderful to have her as my co-founder.